Simone and Rashid. I really wanted to go live. I took a nap. I didn't get enough sleep. I walked down the street to get little Michael from his little drop-in program, summer program before his summer science program begins. And as I'm walking and sweating, oh, excuse me, I'm reading all these comments about how Simone should give Rashid a chance, how she wanted to help him, and it can still work out. Ain't nothing wrong with her helping him. This is on Facebook. And I'm like, Black woman, why do y'all think that you don't deserve a man who has put in the work to become the best version of himself. Why do y'all think that you always have to help a man out and for God sake? Stop saying that God said be a helpmate. He did not say be a helpmate to men, to boyfriends. Helpmate is for a husband. It is not to help him to become. I'm so sick and tired of niggas misquoting scriptures. Talk about God said be a helpmate. Ain't nothing wrong with her. Are you kidding me? Huh? This man is in debt. Put her on her, him on her credit. This is a boyfriend, not a husband. And you know what dropped in my spirit? The reason why a lot of black women are not attracting the right type of men is because you are willing to accept the fixer uppers, the homosexuals, H-O-B-O, the helper brother outs, the men in debt, the men with the credit jacked up, need you to help them. The reason why that is all you're attracting and you're not attracting the men that you really want is because you're open to them. You're willing to help them. You're willing to accept them. You're willing to put them on your credit to help their credit score. You're willing to shack up and go 50-50. You're willing to help these men become the best version of themselves. That is not your job. That was their mother's job. Did I say, hey, how y'all doing? Okay, hi, how you doing? I'm just so disgusted. And even in some of my comments, I, I'm, I'm, I'm grossed out. Rashid is not husband material. If Rashid, brother Rashid, did, did what he said he going to do, I'm going to do a video for him tomorrow morning telling him how he needs to fix this problem. It's going to take, if he is genuine about making the change and genuine about doing the work, and if he's genuine about making the change, it's going to take him 10 years. 10 years to get to the place in his life where he might be prepared to be a good husband. 10 years. But a lot of you women will meet the Rashids of this world and this is a learning experience. We're learning here. Because now I have a real example to talk to y'all about. So you're dating 23 types of guys. You meet a brother Rashid. 
you're on the phone six hours this is why i keep telling y'all don't be on the phone all night don't be letting these men get in your spirit you're on the phone all 12 1 2 o'clock in the night y'all talking it's going good it sound good and he gonna say you know i'm gonna be honest with you i trust you i feel like i've known you all my life and he says uh Curtisha, i just want to tell you you know i feel like I'm just so close to you. Like, I've known you my life. I know we only know each other for two days. <laughs> but I just feel like I could tell you anything and everything. And you are not going to judge me. And Curtis be like, yeah, it's going on, honey. I ain't going to judge you. I won't tell you, no, I, I'm in a lot of debt. Curtis is going to be like, it's all right. I ain't going to judge you. I can help you. I'll put you on my credit. Black woman, why y'all always have to choose the man you got to help? You meet a man like Rashid that he jacked up, messed up, broke. You walk away. This is why dating is for data. Do not make him your man. Don't shack up. Don't move in. Don't have babies with him. Don't start a YouTube channel with him. You do not do any of those things. Documentation, verification, resolution. Resolution is he's in debt. He is drowning. I meant to get. Some, some men walking around like this. It's the thing. Oh, there you go. And you quick to help. Oh, I help you. I help you. Give me, give me them debt. Give me them debt. Let me put you on my credit card. I'll help you. No, black woman. You deserve God's best. You deserve a man who has done the work to become the best version of himself. If you've done the work, you've put in the work, you've become the best version of yourself. Why would you go marry, date, continue to date, accept proposal, and get married to a man who has not done the work? Who at 45 is drowning in debt? Who have no assets? In other words, God forbid something happened to Brother Rashid, his mama is probably going to have to borrow money from her pension or whatever to bury him. That's what no asset mean. Because, you know, back in my days, they used to fry chicken at the den at the church to bury people. Now they have GoFundMe. I cringe every time I say a GoFundMe to bury somebody. No life insurance. No, no money you can borrow. That you 401k, 457, Roth IRA. Granted, you're not supposed to. But in the event that, that there is an emergency and that's all you have, you can borrow from a penalty. But the truth is you're not supposed to borrow it. Nothing. And instead of you walking away, you, 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 you has been conditioned by the black church and the black community to struggle with him and help him to fix it because you're being his helpmate that is not what a helpmate mean tell me what did eve help adam to build it's called let me tell you a story jacob had to run for his life from canaan to haran no jacob wasn't broke but he had to run for his life he got to haran as a matter of fact, that's a conclusion. No, that's a conclusion in 
one of these books. In 10 years a girlfriend. 10 years a girlfriend. Yep. He gets to Haran. He's working and his uncle Laban says to him, uh, nephew, you've been working for me. Tell me what your wages will be. Jacob says, give me Rachel to wife. Back up. Jacob ran from Haran with the only thing on his back is his clothes. And maybe a bag with some bread and water. And he wanted to marry Rachel. And Laban said, when you study the text, Laban said to Jacob, how are you going to take care of her? You want to marry my daughter. You have nothing. You can't feed her. You can't buy, build her a house. You have absolutely nothing. How are you going to take care of my daughter? And Jacob said, I will work seven years for her hand in marriage. And Jacob worked seven years to establish himself and to save and to become a shepherd and to build a house to take care of Rachel. Laban would not allow Rachel to get married to Jacob. And he was broke. He had nothing. Nothing. So why, black woman, do you think you should get with a man and struggle with him? Struggling is under the curse. Read the Bible. You meet a man like Rashid, you run to the hills from whence cometh your help. Your help comes from cousin, sister Janice. You do not help him. You do not try to fix him up. And Rashid is not ready to get married. Ten years. Rashid should not be dating for marriage. Because he is not ready to be a husband and a provider. Notice I said date for marriage because people date for different things. Ladies, in your dating journey, when you are dating and you meet men who are not established, has not done the work, is drowning in debt. This is the United States. Most of us have a little bit of debt. You run to the hills from whence cometh your help. Your help comes from cousin, sister Janice. My class, the husband profile begins in July. Sign up for it, boo-boo. Sign. Every one of you that's listening need to sign, that's single and is dating, you need to take this course because uh, 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 This this meant that it, it that it's a demonic stronghold in the black community. I need to teach a course on freeing black women from struggle love. Because y'all just think you're supposed to help these men. No. No, you're not supposed to. You, you're supposed to help your son. You're not supposed to meet a man and help him, put him on your credit, move in with him, and all this bull crap that y'all be doing. No. Anyway, child, let me go back to bed. It says, but you see my shirt. Bedtime is the best time. Let me go back to bed. I'm got tired, tired. I got stressed to be out. You know, just gross. Ew. <laughs> I got to go, girl. Bye. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye.